This morning is the first public hearing on that so-called bathroom bill. The State Affairs Committee is expecting hours of testimony today. The proposal requires transgender people to use the bathroom associated with their biological sex. And this morning, we understand there could also be some changes made to the bill. Kate Wida is live at the Capitol with the details. Good morning, Kate. Good morning to you. Well, this morning, our media partner with the Texas Tribune is reporting that before this public hearing gets underway at 8 o'clock this morning, there's going to be two modifications made to the bill. Now, the first removes the portion concerning increased penalties if something were to happen, a crime were to be committed inside this bathroom. Essentially, say you were assaulted inside the bathroom. The charge would have been higher instead of if this assault occurred over on the sidewalk, say. So the second adds new language that explains the reasoning for the bill, essentially saying the bill is protecting the safety, welfare and well-being of children in Texas residents. Political experts say some of the reasons for the changes are to try and garner more public support. A poll conducted just last month by the Texas Politics Project and the Texas Tribune found that 76% of Republican voters believe a transgender person should use the bathroom associated with their biological sex. However, only 27% of those Republicans said it was an issue that needs to be legislated and 35% said it wasn't important at all. That's a sign that public opinion is not very set. We're not talking about something like the death penalty or abortion where people have examined the issue a lot, they have fixed opinions that you can see evident over a long period of time. This is a relatively recent addition to the public agenda, and it just doesn't look like the public is ready for the legislature to act on it. And James Henson right now, the director of the Texas Politics Project, says because of the lack of consensus with Republican voters, that is one of the reasons why we have not heard Governor Greg Abbott come out and take a direct stance concerning this bill. However, he did tell our Phil Praise and he finds the bill important for public safety. We did contact the governor's office for an updated uh, position on the bill and they did not get back to us. Now, the Senate needs 19 people signed on to this bill to be able to bring it to a vote. We understand they have 18. However, even if it passes in the Senate, it could be an uphill battle in the House. Today's public hearing testimony gets underway at 8 o'clock this morning inside the state capitol. Back to you. All right, Kate, thank you very much. Some lawmakers, though, are afraid of an economic backlash if they pass that bill. So Texas business leaders and tourism officials gathered together on the Capitol steps yesterday talking about how they say this would impact small Texas businesses. They say popular festivals like South by Southwest, which is next week, and the city limits bring billions of dollars to the economy every single year here in Austin. But could they now be in jeopardy? We've watched North Carolina and Indiana closely, and it's not far-fetched to believe that artists and innovators may not want to align themselves with Texas should SB 6 or other bills already filed become law. But state lawmakers who support the bill say those claims of economic losses are overstated. Yeah, they brought in Dan Forrest, Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina, where they passed a similar law that resulted in boycotts in that state. And so this is not an economic uh, issue. This is about doing the right thing. There is no price tag that you put on uh, the head of a woman or a child in a place of public accommodation. You can't put a price tag on that.